what I got here is uh, double-sided and not entirely unrelated. On one side is a lovely picture by my niece, Amelia, who is three and uh, quite an artist. Her mother, however, um, is one of my oldest friends. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway. Amelia's mother is one of my oldest friends, uh, and she came back to Ottawa with a master's degree in English and a fondness for Keats. Uh, so it just so happens on the other side of this lovely picture, I have a segment of one of Keats' sonnets. So uh, I'd like to share that. <clears throat> when I have fears that I may cease to be, before my pen has gleamed, <laughs> gleamed my teeming brain, before high-piled books and charactery hold like rich garners the full ripened grain, when I behold upon the night-starred face huge cloudy symbols of a high romance, and I think that I may never live to trace their shadows with the magic hand of chance, and when I feel, fair creature of an hour, that I shall never look upon thee more, never have relish in the fairy power of unreflecting love, then... On the shore of the wide world I stand alone and think, till love and fame do nothingness do sink. <laughs> Thanks.